Dear friends, this is Deepak Chopra and I wanted to give you a brief uh, summary of what I intend to be speaking about in my public lectures in the year 2019 and we're in there now, we're in that year now. So the topic of my lectures is going to be the nature of reality and I'd like to share with you why that is really important. Right now, there are four very important contemporary theories about the nature of fundamental reality or the truth about fundamental reality, uh, frequently abbreviated in the acronym F T. Are, I think, truth, no, fundamental truth about reality, F, T, R, fundamental truth about reality. So right now there are about four main uh, theories about that. The first is what I'll call matter only monism, which means that the world is made up of matter only and that mind and consciousness and everything that we experience every day is a result of uh, matter producing thoughts, feelings, images, perceptions, and all experience, including the experience of that which we call our body. Matter produces the experience of the body. So that's matter only monism, and that is in trouble because uh, when we deeply look at the nature of matter, it seems to be very dynamic, whatever this entity is that we call matter. Matter is made up of molecules and atoms, which are made up of particles, which are made up of possibilities, possibility waves, which live in some mathematical space, which is infinitely dimensional, and uh, mathematically is called Hilbert space. In any case, the matter-only concept is in trouble because matter, as we'll see, turns out to be non-material. The second uh, theory about reality is uh, what we can call uh, idealism, which means that the world is mental. And uh, that is a very popular theory as well today, but if the world is mental, then how does it experience that which we call physical? And this um, is, uh, or how does it create? How does mind create matter? This theory is also in trouble right now because uh, it doesn't explain the existence of that which scientists call matter. Okay, so that's the second way of looking at fundamental truth about reality. The third way is what is called dualism, that mind is separate from body and the physical world. And that goes back to René Descartes, uh, the French philosopher. And that too is in trouble because if mind and um, body and the physical world are separate, then how do the two interact? How do you even lift your arm if the thought is immaterial? and lifting the arm is a biological action very much at the physical level. So dualism in trouble. What we're left with is something that has been talked about since ancient times, particularly in philosophical systems, which is what we can call consciousness only monism. Or there is only consciousness and mind, matter and the physical world are projections of that consciousness that consciousness modulates itself into the experience uh, which we call sensations, perceptions, images, feelings, thoughts and then we create constructs out of that that we call the mind, the body and the physical universe. So why am I in favor of this particular aspect of reality? First of all, I'm in favor of this uh, 
particular aspect of reality or understanding of reality is that it actually uh, goes over all the other objections that we have in other theories. But if consciousness is the only reality and if consciousness is fundamental and if it's a field of all possibilities and unpredictability and creativity and evolution and is the source of all intention, insight, intuition, imagination, higher vision. And if it is consciousness, then that is modulating the mind. If it is consciousness that is modulating itself as the activity of that which we call the mind, the body and the world, then you see reality is subject to revision. We can um, ultimately reinvent the body um, change our minds and actually uh, have a new experience of the world, of everyday reality, the human construct that we call everyday reality. In other words, by understanding consciousness, we can understand everything. And this is the solution to the big dilemmas that we have as humans. What is the meaning of death? Uh, why do we have to grow old and die? Um, what is our true nature? Does God exist? Does it matter if God exists or not? But more importantly, how this understanding applies to our daily existence, which means um, how does it apply to a, an experience that we can have every day? How does it apply to the experience that we want every day, like a joyful, energetic body, a loving, compassionate heart, a reflective, alert mind, lightness of being? Can we change the way we age? Can we reverse the biological markers of aging? Can we, in fact, reinvent our body completely and um, make it ever fresh and new? I've been doing that, by the way, for many years. And so, how does this understanding allow us to reinvent the body and uh, revise everything that we call reality? How does this apply to what the world calls success and how can we achieve success? How can we achieve good health? How can we achieve higher consciousness? How can we uh, go beyond addictive behavior? How can we... Um, create a new reality for the world, including more uh, wealth for everyone, economic and social justice, a sustainable planet, a joyful and healthy world. This has been my quest for the last 40 years, but this year I'm going to take it to a new level by explaining how understanding the nature of reality allows us to revise the experience of reality, of the mind, of the body, and of the universe. And by doing that, how can we create success and fulfillment in our lives in addition to a healthy and longer quality of life and better, uh, more loving, more compassionate relationships at, as well. So. This is what I'm going to be talking about in my tours, in my public talks, the nature of reality. And if you're in any city that I'm visiting, uh, I'll make sure that we make uh, uh, the dates and the programs available to all who can come. And I look forward to interacting with you, sharing these ideas with you, and also learning from your feedback. The Nature of Reality with me, Deepak Chopra, the year 2019. I hope um, to see you at my talks and lectures and look forward uh, to hopefully with you creating a critical mass for a more peaceful, just, sustainable, healthier and joyful world and uh, and uh, also at the same time um, bringing about our personal transformation in the direction of enlightenment because I sincerely believe that social transformation is only possible 
when we have personal transformation. So see you at my talks. Thank you and God bless.